Hi guys, welcome back. Let's do a little review of the pool stages. Um, and also, let's go back to my prediction videos, see how close I got to the actual order of the pools. Uh, some were good, some weren't. Uh, so I'm going to go for one point for any team I got in the right position. So it's a maximum amount of 20. And guys, I urge you guys to do this at home as well. Go back to your predictions. I'm going to have to trust you and be honest. I've got mine on video so I can't cheat. But go back, see how many you got, you, how you got right. See if you're going to beat me, which you probably will. Uh, predictions are all good fun. So that's what we're going to do. So... Pool A, I'm going to get it up on the side, Pool A. So I predicted Ireland and Scotland to go through first and second. And Japan third, and I got it completely wrong. Japan were much better than I thought. I thought they'd be decent, but I didn't think they'd be amazing like they have been. Uh, so actual was Japan, Ireland, Scotland, so I got no points for any of those. Samoa, Russia, yeah, I got those around the right way, but that was quite an easy one, to be honest. Russia were going to struggle. You know, they'd only kind of just got through the European qualifying in quite an interesting way, shall we say. But they didn't disgrace themselves. They really fought hard. My target for them, I remember, was to score some really good tries, which they did. So Samoa, they were disappointing. I thought they might be better. They weren't as organised as they could be. We know the issues around uh, the Pacific Island rugby, uh, the money issues, the organisational issues, and unfortunately they were a bit disappointing, but they were better than Russia. So two points only for that uh, pool. On to pool B, whacking up the prediction versus the actual on the side again. Now this one I did a bit better. New Zealand, South Africa, I was quite, quite strong behind New Zealand topping the pool and that proved to be the case. South Africa, after their disappointing start against New Zealand, even though they played well, came roaring through as we thought they might. Italy in third. Starting well, doing quite well against Canada and Namibia, but then coming up well short against the rest. And then I thought Canada might push through. Maybe I was thinking back to some of their more better days in the World Cup, but they were disappointing. In so on to Pool C. Get it up on the side. OK, and at this point, uh, just a reminder that my Rugby Analyst 10 uh, promotion code on the England Rugby Store and Fanatics is still going if you want 10% off any, off any of your rugby stash. Uh, Paul C uh, predicted England, France, Argentina to um, the top three with England and France to go through and that's exactly what happened. Argentina are a good side but I didn't think they'd have the firepower to beat England and France um, even though you know they got a bit close to France. Um, Argentina were disappointing I think more in their style of play. We've watched them play fantastically for the Haguaras, and in the past they've played some very exciting stuff in the Rugby Championship, but they do seem to have gone backwards a bit, gone back to some basics which aren't really good enough. They needed to use a bit more flair, a bit more handling um, to really challenge these top sides. So unfortunately Argentina don't go through. And I thought the USA would do a lot better than they actually did. Um, so I definitely got that one wrong. The USA were disappointing. I thought they might be at a higher level, but they need their league system to kick in a bit more. They need their collegiate system clearly to come through a bit more and maybe four, eight, maybe even 12 years before we see them possibly moving up. Tonga were better than the USA, uh, but they couldn't get any other wins. So there we go. Three points for that uh, prediction there. Finally on to Pool D, and finally I actually get them all right. I was quite confident that Wales would top the group. I saw enough in the Six Nations to show me they had championship quality, and they do. So they come through against some tough battles. It was a tough pool. Fiji were very good in patches, but just not consistently quite good enough to get the win. So they were third. They were slightly better than I thought in places, and then slightly worse than I thought in places, particularly against the Uruguay. That was quite poor. But anyway, Wales, Australia go through. Fiji third. Georgia did get their win against Uruguay, which I thought they would in Uruguay. Fight, fighting bravely, but uh, bottoming off the pool there. So five points for me there. So overall, I get 13 out of 20 possible right. Yeah, okay, maybe, I guess, but it's a bit of fun. So go back, toss up your score, pop in the comments how you did, and until next time, I will see you then.